This video is for all you third world criminals who are flooding into Europe illegally by pretending to be refugees. You can watch it on the smartphones that you all seem to have with you. It's just to let you know that everybody knows you're mostly able-bodied fighting age men, thousands of whom are pretending to be children because you don't have a shred of honour, dignity or shame between you. We know that you are not, in fact, refugees at all, but illegal invaders, opportunists and predators, and that your disgusting behaviour is making things much worse for genuine refugees who are not nearly as welcome here anymore, thanks to you. We also know that the American people dodged a bullet recently when they had the good sense to elect a president who will keep you and barbarians like you out of their country. However, having said all that, you won't get any trouble from us here in Europe. You see, we're multicultural. We're afraid to breathe too hard in case it makes us racist. So you can come here and crap all over our values and laugh at us and we won't say a word. We're so self-consciously, decadently progressive that we've chosen to pretend that all cultures are equal, even backward, uncivilised ones like yours that don't even deserve to share the same planet. We're ashamed of our culture because it's so embarrassingly superior and we think it needs taking down a peg or two for the sake of equality. And we're hoping that you primitive throwbacks will help us to do that by bringing with you the ugliest aspects of your ugly culture to drag us all down to your level. Well, it's not as if we haven't been there before, about a thousand years ago. So, for example, if you arrive in Europe married to a child, Denmark and Germany are cool with that. There are now more than a thousand Muslim men in Germany who are married to children. Isn't that progressive? And recently a court in Denmark ruled that Muslim migrants who are married to children should be allowed to stay together in case it infringes their, you've guessed it, human rights. A term that's been dragged through the gutter so many times on behalf of criminal chances like you, it's absolutely worthless. Worthless to us, that is, but not to you, because when you commit the crimes that we all know you're going to, the bogus term human rights will be your get-out-of-deportation card. Not only that, if you sexually assault or rape a woman, again, as we know you're going to, our progressive politicians will try their best to make it her fault, as the female mayor of Cologne tried to do after the notorious New Year's Eve mass assault. If you rape a female No Borders activist, her colleagues will pressure her to keep it quiet in case it gives people the wrong idea about violent third world savages like you. And if you find yourself in Austria raping a ten year old boy in a swimming pool, relax, your conviction will be overturned on appeal because the judges believe that you might not have known that a ten year old boy didn't want to be raped. Yes, our judges in Europe are very progressive. In other words, they're on your side. The police and media, too, will conspire to keep your depravity hidden from the general population until it hits them squarely in the face, as it does now frequently in wide-open Sweden, the rape capital of Europe, thanks to you. Earlier this year, it was reported that nearly half of Sweden's women are afraid to go out on their own after dark because, well, we're not really supposed to say what the reason is, as that would be racist towards the lawless human vermin like you who are assaulting and raping Swedish women and children. Everyone in Sweden is so terrified of being a racist, you can do what you like. You can gang rape a woman in a wheelchair for hours, as happened just recently, and the police will let you go because they're not convinced that she fought back hard enough, what with being paralysed with shock and fear and all. And then, when local people get angry about this, leftists and feminists will organise a demonstration against their racism. You can't lose. If you're wanted for a crime in Sweden, which no doubt you will be, nobody will be able to identify you. The police don't like to issue a description of wanted criminals because it will almost always be somebody who looks like you, and that would paint a truthful picture of mass third world immigration that the Swedish government doesn't want people to see because then even the docile Swedes might start to realise just how comprehensively they and their country have been betrayed. For this reason, the authorities in Europe generally are far more likely to crack down on their own citizens who publicise your barbaric behaviour than they are to address the behaviour itself. And you don't even have to feel ashamed about any of this, which is just as well, because you wouldn't know how. 
Whatever depths of depravity you sink to, masturbating in front of women and children, defecating in the street or in a public swimming pool, you really are a classy bunch, you will never be held to account for it. Somehow we will always contrive to make it our fault. You can even sue the German government if they don't move quickly enough to give you all that free money you came here for. We all know you're unlikely to work for a living because you're so damned ignorant you're unemployable. But we welcome that difference in Europe today. We celebrate diversity. So if you're coming here to Britain, here's a handy multicultural tip. Make sure you bring as many wives as you can. They can all collect benefit. Might as well claim what's wrongfully yours. Although I should point out that if you're coming here from Pakistan because you've heard from your cousins about the rich pickings to be had gang-raping English children, you should know that the English police have finally been shamed into addressing this problem against their will. So there is a chance that you will be arrested and end up in prison. But don't worry, you'll find so many like-minded perverts in there with you. It'll be just like being back home in Pakistan, where you belong. Anyway, I hope this little video will be of some help and that perhaps some small dim light bulb in the back of that stunted growth you call a mind will help you understand that behind the sunny multicultural smiles and the positive buzzwords like tolerance and diversity that you are in fact about as welcome in Europe as an avalanche of toxic medical waste. And that's because you have gone out of your way to make yourselves unwelcome.